because she's not allowed to eat crisps anymore. <laughs> not the crisps, but eating crisps is so loud. <laughs> it's great to be here. Hello, everyone. Let me know where you're watching from, how Monday is going for you, um, whether you're freezing cold, as I am still, <laughs> um, and how things are. If you have hi, Phil. Hi, Amy. It's great to see you all. Um, yeah, so if you have a hand hand, grab it. This is a live lesson, play along lesson. If you've got a D curd, that's ideal because that's what I'm going to have. And if you've got, aha, hello, hello from Hanover, hi, uh, If you've got a different instrument, no worries, you can play along with me, but it might not sound exactly the same. Um, I think that's all the things I need to cover before we get going. So if anyone's joining, hello, hello, hello. Let's start off with a tiny moment of centering. So make sure you've got your feet on the floor, got your hand pan balanced over. We went to see um, Manny Delago last night, which was an awesome show. If he is coming, he's touring around the UK right now. So if you go and see him, if you're anywhere in the UK, go and see him. It's a really good show. Hand pan extraordinaire. Um, and he's played off a really tall chair. So his. Uh, <laughs> His instrument was like all the way slanted down, which obviously worked for him. Oh, hello again, Nancy, you're back. <laughs> um, so whatever it works, whether it's having foot rests and something underneath, or it's having it angled down, angled up, whatever's comfortable for you, just get settled and seated down. Make sure that your chair back is not about to be a hit by you. You can, you wanna make sure that you're sitting kind of on the edge of your seat, so you're a, uh, feeling nice and comfy and maybe your seat is adjustable like this one so you can be even more cozy all right we're gonna start off just playing the ding on in the middle so all the time we want to be hitting our instrument as though it's a little bit warm we're bouncing off of it we're not sticking to it let's zone in with just some ding ears <laughs> barry it's so good to see you Hope you're well. I'm sorry you don't have crisps. It's terrible, but you can play on your knee. We've had play people playing on their laptop before, wherever you are. Let's just zone in and arrive, all playing together. And if you do have a hand pan, not your knees or a laptop, we're listening for that really blooming sound. Every note should be the same. We don't want to hear loud loud quiet whether you're right-handed or you're left-handed let's get them both vibing along awesome and we 
we're just going to count. We can count anything with these notes, but we're going to count to three. Starting to warm up a little bit, just roll your shoulders backwards. Just the shoulders. And if you're like me and Matt creaks and crunches, I hope that the microphone doesn't pick that up. And then rolling your elbows backwards, like you're drawing big old dinner plate circles. Rolling forwards. And rolling the shoulders forwards. Have a little go on the neck. Trying to use your nose to draw like a big smile. Because we need our back and our shoulders and our arms and our body to do what we want. And many of us, I know I have today, we spend all day hunched over computers or hampans or any of those things. So it's good to take a moment to just sit up. That's not to say that you need to always be playing with this like wild drill sergeant posture but we tend to move in so let us move out <laughs> phil glad you're enjoying it awesome stuff and i just if you're feeling somewhere cold let's just get your fingers together rolling the wrists around we're going to need them to do stuff just get it nice and <laughs> i was gonna say well yeah nice and oiled up and the other way as well <laughs> um, this is my favourite way to warm up. Imagine that you've just washed your hands, but the towel is, there's no towel, and your hand dryer is broken, and you're wearing really smart clothes, so you can't even give it the old wipe on the trousers. So instead, we're just going to flip, flip, flip the water off, because this is stimulating a lot of the, the bits, the muscles, the tendons that we're going to be using in the top of our arms. So flip, flip, flip the water off. And like everything, if it hurts, stop. But if you're feeling a little bit of warmth, a little bit of motion, that's a great indicator to just keep it going and get yourself warmed up. Awesome. So today's session is all about swing. We are going to be getting ourselves playing in that cool, groovy jazz way instead of a straight rhythm. So what does that mean? It means that instead of breaking our beat in half, like one and two and three and four and, we're going to interrupt that in a slightly jauntier way. One, a two, a three. It's going to sound groovy. All right. Could you pass your iPhone, please? Thank mm -hmm. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> can anyone can anyone hear the sound? I, I, that's so strange. I feel like I can hear a really really faint little little off camera. Should I do it by the my microphone. Or ASMR. Is that gross. That's gross. <laughs> so ASMR. So that means that instead of breaking our our beat down the middle, we're we're taking our half beats and making them groove. Jazz, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can only eat crisps if you eat in, in like a swing rhythm, please. Okay. <laughs> You're so lucky you didn't see how many crisps fell out during that. <laughs> As you can tell, it's a very serious atmosphere here today. Okay. Um, so the way that we can start thinking about that is actually more like triplets. So we have our beat and we can split the beat up in all sorts of different ways. Just getting our metronome going. We're going to start off playing once every beat. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We've just done that, that simple. Now the straight way of breaking this beat up is straight down the middle on the ands. One, and two, and three, and four. Try that.
but swing, it borrows a little bit more from a triplet. So let's imagine that we're breaking each of these beats into three parts. You can say takita as your syllable, or you can say one triplet, or you can say anything else that has three beats. So for now, let's try the triplet idea. So we're still getting those beats on the click. Three, four, one, but we're gonna fill in triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Hopefully that idea isn't too unfamiliar to anyone. If you need a recap on triplets, I've got some videos on that probably, so check them out. Um, so now we just want to get that idea of the triplet, but we're so used to playing every single beat. So one triplet. But what if instead of playing one triplet, we take out the middle beat? I'm taking the speed down a little bit just to demonstrate what I mean. Two triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. In fact, I'm going to take the speed up to demonstrate what I mean even more clearly. So we understand that the click can represent each of those beats. But now we're going to turn that metronome click into all of it. So before it was one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. I'm just getting the metronome to help us out by playing every single one of those triplet beats. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. Say it with me. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. It already sounds kind of cool, but we want to make it swing. So we're going to take out one of those beats. We can take out various different beats for a really good exercise. The first one that we can take out is the last beat. One trip, two trip, three trip, four trip, two, three, four. One trip, two trip, three trip, four trip, one trip, two trip, three trip, four trip, one trip, two trip. Three trip, four trip, one trip, two trip, three trip, four trip, one trip, two trip, three trip, four trip. We can also take out the first beat so we don't play on that first click. It sounds like this one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. Four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. But we're not doing either of those things. But this exercise and the rest of this session, we're taking out the middle beat. So we have one triplet, lit, two triplet, lit. If it's helpful, do say all of those, but you don't need to play all of them. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, both hands one two three we'll be using both of them let's see if you can play the one and the trip lit with the same hand one trip 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 one trip
So we are already swinging on the ding. <laughs> We're making the ding swing, which is a really, really great start. Come on, <laughs> two. But to get that kind of jazzier sound, we might start to go a little bit faster. So we're going to try this exercise over a couple of different notes. In fact, <laughs> we're going to try that same exercise on a slower metronome. So the speed, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, that is the speed. But so we don't go wild with all those clicks. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One trip. See if you can really challenge yourself by filling in all of those gaps. One trip, two trip, three trip, four trip, one trip, two trip, three trip, four trip, one trip, two trip, three trip, four trip, one trip, two trip. And it means that second note's a little lazy. to hand to hand playing which is really good fun so try and have a go at that see if you can work out how to get that note to swing but we can also take the same idea and put it on two different notes so i've spoken before about the push and the pull method where we come down with the thumb and up with the finger so this is just an exercise for one hand looking at this triplet division i'm going to get the metronome back up to that speed it was at so we're going to hear all of those notes. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet. The thumb is going to play on each note. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet. And the finger is going to play on lit. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet. Bring it together, it's one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. You may have learnt the same thing with Takita if you're familiar with the conical syllables. So let's have a go with those ones as well. If you know something different, say that, that's totally fine. Taki ta taki ta taki ta off we go taki ta taki taki ta 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 taki and of course we must do it with the other hand anything we do with one hand we to do it with the other hand so pick another couple of notes I'm gonna use my B flat and my D. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet. Off we go, thumb triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one 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 triplet, two triplet. This is the finger. exact same exercise and take the metronome speed down so we're still working at the same speed but the metronome's only clicking triplet two triplet three triplet one triplet two triplet three
changing hands. starting to swing, if we were playing it totally straight, it would be like But we want to get that dancing feel in. Thank you Phil so much for your donation. I love doing these live lessons and it is super duper fun to do them. But if you are able to donate, that is so, so, so appreciated. It helps me buy more crisps. <laughs> um, so thank you so much Phil. All right, let's start to put this swinging together. Let's start to put this swinging rhythm around the pan. One, two, three, four. A one, a two, a three, a 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 four. A one, a I think we can really party now. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two, three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. So I've just taken the speed up to 260 to show a little bit more what I mean. If this speed doesn't work for you, that's totally fine. Yeah, you can slow the video up and down on YouTube. Uh, obviously, you can't do that while it's live, but that's something we can go back to. One, two, three, four, one, two, your body. So we can start to play a little bit around. We know that this idea of scales, one, two, three, four, just walking up the pan. So we're playing the lowest note which is nearest us, and the next note, and the next note, and the next note. So in this straight rhythm, you might play two on each note, one and two. But we're not playing stuff straight, we want it to be dancing. Two, a three, a four, two, a three, a four. And we'll do four on each of those notes as we walk up. So firstly, let's play one click. Firstly, let's play each of those beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, change no.
starting to groove around those scales. But we can also split the scales between the hands. One, two, one, two. So now the main note is on one and the little note is on the next. We're just gonna play it with the first two notes so you can see what I mean. One, and two, and three. We have the idea of these dancing, swinging scales. One, so now we're going to go all the way up and down. Nice, okay. Awesome. That's the idea of these scales. If it's moving a little bit too quickly for you, just choose any two notes or play the whole thing on the ding. Let me know if it's too hard or too easy or you're totally understanding it or if you're holding back on some very rude jokes, Phil. <laughs> when I titled this live stream, I had to delete so many suggestions. So like, no, not, not that, no, no, no. I don't know how to talk about swing the music. That's, <laughs> you just gotta get your filthy mind. Anyway, um, so, so yeah, so we're getting that idea walking up the scale. exercise without doing the same thing crossed over. You'll notice at the moment your right hand is on every big beat. One, two, three, four. But it doesn't always stay like that. Let's try the same exercise on the highest two notes. If you've got an extra note like me, just ignore it. So we're going to be coming down. One, a two, a three, a four. So let's practice getting our left hand playing every beat. One, two, three, left hand. One, two, three, four. 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 Let's come all the way down, starting at the top each time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, again. And 
the final stage of this exercise is to combine it all together. So we're going to go up one, two, three, four, and then we're going to hit again with the left hand to come back down. One, two, three, four, again with the right hand to go back up. One, two, three. We're going to do it with some gaps between, and then we'll get rid of the gaps. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, four, and wait. Two, three, back down. One, two, four. One, two, three, back up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, back down. One, two, three, four. This time we're going to get rid of the gaps. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, and one. Amazing. So anything that we're playing, any pattern, we can apply this idea of swinging to. So you might do scales, or we could even just look at some chords. So let's look at D minor. So we're going to play it on the beat and make it swing. If you don't know the chords of D minor, the notes in the chord of D minor, that's okay, but it's D D, F, and A. You can pick any notes in to make them swing. One, two, three, four. Super fun, super fun. Let's try another chord. Let's try uh, A minor. Same idea. One hand can be playing every beat. And the other hand makes it swing. finding this a little bit too challenging don't worry i love the idea of you sitting there with two hand hands trying to keep up but the great thing about this idea is you can play it on the side you can play it on the ding and even if you just play every beat boom 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 you're still grooving with us which is awesome so whatever you're doing i'm so glad we're all playing together hi okay so we've got this idea of grooving our chords we can groove we can groove on an arpeggio. We'll take the speed down just a tiny bit. Grooving on an arpeggio. So these are the notes of D minor. Grooving up and down. One and two and three and four and groove along with me. And if you just want to play the D. Thank you. 
gonna have the same idea of grooving on our A minor chord. One, two, three, four. And we know about grooving up on the shoulder or the interstitial. Incredible. So that is one of the building blocks of swing. But you'll remember, you know when you hear a jazz drummer, It sounds a little bit different from what we're doing. We're playing one, a two, a three, a four, a. Each of those beats is swung. But to make it sound super duper jazzy, which is our goal here, we're only gonna swing every other beat. So we have one, two, a three, four. Uh, let's do that with the metronome. I'm going to practice saying it first. One, two, three, four. One, two, a uh, three, four, a uh, 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 one, two, a uh, three. And I'm so excited uh, with my subscribers to be really getting up there. My next goal is to hit 5,000 subscribers. So if you're enjoying the video, share it with your mates, get them involved, tell everyone about the channel. It's really, really helpful. Anyway, where were we? One, two, uh, three. Yes, it worked. I love it when I say that and I see someone's liked it. That's so helpful. Um, Okie dokie. So we're making it groove. One, two, uh, three, four. Uh, now we've got four beats in our bar. We're going to choose some different notes. One, two, a three, four, a one, two, a three, four, a ding, 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 two, three, four, a ding. scales exercise and now put that jazz swing on it one so if it's a one or a three we just play the note but the two and the four have that uh on it as well i'll show you what i mean one of making the scale swing. We're going to start off playing a different note with each hand on each beat. 
One, two, uh, three, four. 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 Oh, one, two, uh, three, four. Oh, one, two, uh, three, four. Oh, one. Just as a reminder, if this wasn't swinging, it would be like this. Which is fine, but it's just not as cool as we're going for. Let's try that then. One, two, a uh, three, four, a. Uh. we also want to play it coming down. We were starting with our right hand, so let's try with our left hand. One, two, three, four. Why do I feel like a bell ringer? I love it. And I'm glad you're having fun as well. So we've got that groovy feeling. Of course, we're playing it kind of slow. So we can try it just for fun. Let's try it a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and a one, two. One, and a two, and a three. We can really start to make this fun. Let's replace our beat one with a chord. One and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a A minor.
sounding good, it's sounding fun, it's sounding great. If you have any questions about this little intro to swing, stick it in the chat, I'd love to try and answer it. If you feel like you have the handle on it, I'd love to end this live lesson the way I end all of them with a play along session. So if you have a decurd, grab it now, or you have a decaltic, that'll totally work as well. If you've got any instruments like a drum or a tambourine or anything, that'll work perfectly too. Um, and yeah, you can, yeah, if you're tap dancing, that'll definitely work. So we're gonna go through a few different chords playing this together. So we're gonna have a D minor, which is the first chord. One and a two and a three and a four and a five, your D minor. of the one, two, and the three, and four, and a, but you might want to go one, a two, and a three, and a four, and a, you might just want to play one, two, three, four, or any combination, <laughs> whatever it is, it's all going to be different, it's all going to be joyous, I'm going to write out these chords that we're going to be using, D minor, B flat and A. Can you see that or is it overexposed? I don't know. It's okay. No, no, it's fine. Do you want to jam with me? You got anything? No? <laughs> No worries. Sorry. Happy jamming. Thanks. Well, Amy's just gonna be dancing in the corner. I'm actually, I'm actually busy editing a future very exciting video really exciting. with the two of us. It is so really exciting. keep an eye on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's very. I'm sat here editing it, trying not to laugh because it's really funny. <laughs> okay, great. Anyway, anyway, very serious ending. Very serious ending. Sorry. We're gonna go through these chords of D minor, B flat, and A, and then back to B flat. Have some fun. It might all go wrong. I don't know. And it's all going to have that swing feel. So I'm going to call out a few different things. We're going to go through some different ideas. We'll do our best. Thank you all for watching. Uh, let's party. One, two, three. D minor. B flat.
drum, put that slap in. playing along in some kind of way at home hopefully you are making it groove i almost want to do one more that's a little bit faster i shouldn't really because that was already perfect but i'm gonna do it let's try it let's just give it a go same chords one two three four
that was so much fun. Uh, hopefully you'll play, let me know if you were playing along uh, at home, if you have a decode or any sort of similar instrument and you managed to get, <laughs> I was gonna say you managed to get swinging. Oh, this is terrible. Um, there's no polite way to talk about the feel, <laughs> the swing groove, but hopefully you managed to play along with me. And I love doing these live lessons. It's really, really fun. Uh, we get to cover a bunch of different topics together, so keep an eye out for more of them. And if you are near London or you can get to London, I'm doing an in-person class. So on the 24th of this month, which is February, uh, in South East London, I'm doing a live class. So I know a few of you are hoping to get down and Phil maybe you'll be seeing in real life, which is so exciting. So make sure you're subscribed to Instagram, Facebook, wherever you get your info, um, where I've been posting about that. So you can find the email address, you can register your interest. Please do come along. It'll be so fun to meet in person. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's all I have to, to plug, I think. Thanks, Rosie and Crisp Amy. <laughs> um, yeah, big up to Amy, Naila, for letting me use her studio. If any of you don't know who she is, you're a fool. She's a legend. <laughs> Here she is, look. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, have a wonderful week, time, life, hand pan. Do watch my videos, drop some comments and all of that on them. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.